Nearly seven years ago, an inmate at the Boulder County Jail gouged his eyes out while in a mental health crisis, and he sued the sheriff and the jail, claiming they left his mental health untreated and could have been prevented. A settlement was announced today, and the county must pay millions. Denver 7's Club Bordelon caught up with him and his family, who say the money falls short of true justice. I'm pretty much been asymptomatic recently, and I I feel like I'm recovering. Ryan Partridge lives with schizophrenia. A perfect storm of things just coming together at, at the wrong time. That time was in 2016 when he was in the Boulder County Jail. Until I blinded myself. His eyes were brown. They're not anymore. Turning blue now. Like his dad, Richards. I'm really Ryan's younger brother, you know. <laughs> the Partridges are able to laugh, but it's been a long road. We're lucky to have Ryan here. There's a lots of people who lose their loved one in this situation. They filed a lawsuit that says in December 2016, Ryan experienced a deep, severe schizophrenic psychosis and that he had previously harmed himself while in the Boulder County Jail. It also says he had a history of refusing to take medication. Attorneys claim the jail simply left his psychosis untreated. He called me and told me that Ryan had blinded himself and he was in the hospital that they thought maybe they could save one of his eyes, which ended up not being true. And of course, I started crying and I said, oh my God. The Partridges were paid two settlements totaling to just over $2.5 million. The only remedy they can do is money. They can't give Ryan his eyesight back. In a statement, the sheriff's office says they don't believe any of the staff involved were at fault or violated the law. It continues to say they employ a highly trained medical team that has protocols aimed at preventing self-harm. However, the jail cannot offer the same level or scope of treatment as a hospital. Some people probably view it as that I, I did it to myself and the we also were fighting uphill against qualified immunity for a lot of the people in our lawsuit. The statement from the sheriff's office says they now host a jail-based competency restoration program. It says the county will continue to advocate for a better state system for mental health treatment. It's the same every time. But the Partridges don't believe enough has been done, specifically when it comes to how mental health is treated inside jail. You know, we did everything we could. Our hands are tied. The family says they'll keep doing what they've always done. We take care of each other. And they plan on putting pushing for change inside Colorado's jails. Colette Borlon, Denver 7. And one of the biggest concerns for the Partridges is solitary confinement at the Boulder County Jail. And a spokesperson from the Sheriff's Office says they do have some inmates in single non-shared cells with limited time outside of them, and they call it restrictive housing, saying they periodically review and modify their policies to ensure they're in line with best practices. The most recent update on their policy was last month.